We're going to discuss uh, on the subqueries with example, uh, but uh, the example we're going to see is going to be from the adventure works. Uh, if you are working on, if you are working on the SQL Server, probably you might be familiar with the adventure works, and that is like a very good database, especially for uh, educational purposes. And uh, if you haven't checked it so far, then please check out on that one. So um, before we dive into the uh, the subquery example that we're going to work on, let's try to see uh, some example which we can be able to solve without the usage of the subquery and then how we're going to implement the subquery. Uh, let's say you are working for the company called AdventureWorks and hence we're going to use the AdventureWorks database. And the HR officer wanted to surprise the salesperson with the highest sales year to date with a price. So they approached you and then asked you if you can provide them the first and the last name of the salesperson with the highest sales uh, year to date. So this uh, person is a hard worker, so they want to reward him or her with some prize. And then that's, that's your task. So when you are assigned with this, even without the subquery, it is quite possible to accomplish the task. And then let's see those things and then we're going to examine what the problem is out there and then how the subquery is going to be helping us. In case if you are not familiar with the subquery, basically the subquery is a nested query or a query in a query. So as we have seen it on our lecture, uh, we have a major or the outer query and then they would have like an inner or a child query which would be, which would be most of the time feeding the input to the outer one. But don't worry about that one, it's going to be much clearer when we try to see the example. Now we have now we have the problem at hand. So let's see where we're going to start. So the first thing is going to be where is this information stored? Meaning uh, where is the sales person and then the sales that he or she has performed is going to be stored. So we know that one is going to be from uh, sales. The tables are going to be the sales that sales person uh, sales person so just to be consistent I'll, I'll make this one s otherwise it doesn't totally make sense it doesn't totally uh, matter so if we go to the uh, sales which is going to be here we see the sales person and if i go to that of the uh, column over here then you can see we have the business entity id sales quota and then we here we have like the sales year to date uh, value which we are interested so to see it in example or the value. So if I do from sales that sales person, then run this, then you would see uh, that there is a sales uh, year to date uh, with some values in it. So this is the area that we're interested. But as you can see, there is no any mention of the first name or last name which we're interested. Of course, we can get the uh, maximum or the highest. Uh, value from uh, from the cells year to date, but we won't be able to find the first name and the last name which the HR is interested. So for that case, we need to have other tables which are associated with this one. So there are a couple of ways that you can accomplish this. Um, the first thing is uh, you can go directly right click on this one to see what tables are associated with it. And then uh, you can go to the uh, script table. Uh, to see the uh, script on how this table was created. So down the road, you'd see that it has like, the main columns over here. And then uh, probably you might be interested on this one where this is used. Um, we have like a couple of them over here, but we might be more interested on the primary key, which is going to be the business entity ID. Where is it hooked to so that we can uh, get more information off of it. So for that, so the first thing that I would do would be just to just search for that one, which is the business entity ID. And I'll try to see like where it is mentioned, if I can get some information on that one. This is assuming, uh, this is off the topic of the subquery, but uh, this also would help you like, how are you going to get the relation between the tables in case if you are interested to find what tables are interested, the li link to this table so that we can get more information of the first name and the last name, even, even some other information out there. So here I can see that the salesperson entity ID is a primary key, so that I know. And then the next one is the salesperson and employee. So this sounds interesting because it says there is a foreign key uh, involved on that of the business key and uh, with that of the employee. So if I go, so if I go back here, and then here we have, let's get rid of this. 
one and then here if we try to see select streaks from cells that oh that's going to be in human resources uh, that employee and if i run this then you would see that on business entity id which is a join or which is a relationship with that of the uh, salesperson i can get like even more information on this one which is like the login id organization the job title the birth date you know just more informations are there but still i'm not getting that uh, information regarding the first name and the last name so what i'm going to do is i can look up the same way on employee table and then i can see that there is actually the uh, person table which by using the same uh, principle i can see that uh, based on the um, employees business entity id there is also a person business entity id that i can hook up and then in that case it's going to be person that person uh, and if i got here then i can see that there are so by using the same technique, by going to that of the employee and then looking at how it is related to the others, I can reach to that of the person uh, table. And then on that one, I can see that the business entity ID employee is the same as that of the person, uh, the person table. So on that, I can see the first name, uh, the middle name, the last name. So technically where we can say that the business entity ID uh, on the person is the same as that of the business entity ID on that of the salesperson by transitivity. So for this purpose, we can take out the employee, even though it is the link between them, but we can use the salesperson, uh, the, that uh, business entity ID is the same as that of the person that business entity ID.